One of the gals, it's Saturday, so I'm cleaning my office, which I do almost every Saturday. But one of the girls who watches my channel and talks to me asked to see my Dilutions journal in process because I just convinced her to get one. So I thought it would be fun, but I'm gonna go through all my journals and just let you know an update on where we're at because I am going to be doing a wee bit of cleaning today anyways. I'll show you the cubes I'm cleaning here. All right, I wanna do a wee cleanup. That paper tower from We Are Memory Keepers, I got it at scrapbook.com, works great. This works okay, I might leave that there. I need a place for stamps because I found I've left a few more of them on their things. So maybe we'll go in there. I don't know. Oh, I have magazines up here. I'm going to move those. So functionally, my best craft spots are those, let's say, six, right? So I have to have all of my very most important craft supplies in those six cubes so I can reach them. And I need to um, figure out where I am on my journal. So this is the one that we've been working on the most lately. This is the black journal. And this is not necessarily in the right order, right? I'm gonna bind this with um, black tape. And I don't know that I'm gonna do any more pages. I might just finish up the pages I have. So I'm not gonna do the whole flip throughs on these things. Um, because each one I'll do a, a flip through if I ever get them done. That's, I was saying, I think it was Anne I was talking to. She was like, uh, I want to see a flip through. I'm like, well, I always plan on doing it when I'm done and I'm never done. So, um, that is a problem. Okay. So this one is coming along swimmingly. I used my free Christmas tags and tickets, my free butterfly tags. My free, how, oh, nope, those are scrapbook pages. So that is a work in progress. Whip. Next, we have my thrift store crafts journal. And this one is very cool because I can only use um, just glue and maybe a Sharpie marker. And it's not as fancy as some of my other journals because I don't have the ability to do all the snazzy stuff. I have started stepping it up with ribbons and bows and things like that. Um, I don't have as much ability to be snazzy, but it also has led to some of my favorite art techniques that I use now. Oh, it flipped over halfway through. Uh, some of my favorite art techniques I use now and also some of my favorite pages. Like I love how this one came out and how this one came out. This, this double spread to me feels really cool. Um, I like the white puff balls. This one's okay. And then there's a tiger under here, which I love. So that is the um, composition book journal. Just cheapy, cheapy, cheapy. You can buy them for like a buck. This is my real art journal. I use a disc bound art journal. Um, this is scrapbook paper. I made this design and I laminated the cover of this journal. This is a gift from a friend. This is my favorite piece I've ever made. It is um, a lady with a vulture. This is coloring books. This is a page I'm gonna use, but this was from a um, uh, collage transfer on the gel plate. There's something back there, I can't tell what it is. Oh, I think it's a lady, but she's upside down. Um, this one is really disturbing. I don't love it, but I like the way it turned out. This one is Johnny Pick the Pictures. So I like that. This is, ooh, that's a one magazine collage challenge. Usually I don't do them in here. I wonder why I did. But that's Aaron and Ben Napier from, uh, from the television. This was um, cutting out coloring book pages too, I believe. I love this girl. I haven't done anything yet with her. She's just a glue book but um, she's, she was a favorite I found. Sometimes I'll uh, put things in my journals just to keep them safe, and she's been super safe in there. Uh, this is Big Eyed Girl. Godzilla. This is partially done. I started this at a conference, and I just haven't worked on that page. 
this page is done. This is, uh, I did a whole thing about this. This is a circus design page. It's very fancy. This girl's in process. This is the page I did after the Capitol riots in my country, the United States. This is Judgy Mabel. <laughs> I love her. This is another magazine transfer. I did those with Desi. They turned out really cute. Um, this one I did writing in, and I was super excited because I'm doing writing now, or I was doing writing then. I need to get back to it. I love this guy. This guy turned out super well. He's one of my favorites, and these are um, butterfly wings from the dollar store. Uh, this is one. Maybe not a favorite. And there's more butterfly wings from the dollar store. So this is my real journal for when I'm being all fancy and arty. All right, this is the one I did um, after I took the Diane Reevely painted collage class. And I'll put a link to that below. Um, but I started painting my collages. So that's two of the girls. And this is a Dilutions flip journal. I'll put a link to this. I think it's eight by eight, so then it's eight by 16, so it's really tall. I don't know how much of it you can see. This girl is partway done. I need to paint her. He turned out really good. Just pages in progress. I thought this one turned out really good too. It's the first time I used the Karens. I kind of love this lady, but I have to work on this page. Um, I love this one, black and white. Working on these girls. I've already, this one's done. This page is done, not done. This is just a piece to maybe start. It's the back, it's the bottom of the red guy's head. Where's the red guy? There you go. So I cut off his um, collar. This is gonna be a red, white, and blue page. A fish is all I have so far. This one is starting out cool. I love this one. This was a um, M&M's container. Uh, I like this one. This one is Cookie Karen's. This one maybe needs some more doodling on it, for sure. Um, and that's it for this one. So I'm working on that one. That one, so I tend to go in like little spurts, like I'll work a bunch of the big faces and the painting, and then I'll do a trip to the thrift stores, and then I'll do some thrift stores, and then I'll do all different things. So if you start a journal and you um, uh, don't finish it, don't feel bad. You're just working on whatever you're working on. So this one is probably the closest to being done. Um, I have this page I still need to do. This girl turned out cute. I wish she had more of a neck. Um, I love these cat people. This may be one of my favorite pages ever, too. Uh, be the best. Those are the Stepford cats. That one turned out cute. I have these two pages. I know it sounds like I'm not getting close to being done, but look, I have stuff for them. Like, this is a school bus. I have stuff for them, and the rest of the pages are all done. Okay, so this is, oh, there's a big hand. Oh, that's going to go on this page. Another page that's not quite done. But this one's done, look. This one flips up. That's the Emperor Penguin. And Desi made this magazine transfer. And I wrote on that. And these are girls I took after, I did after Diane Reevely's symbol collage class. I love this girl. I used, this was a pain in the rear i used a stencil for that and then cut out every piece of that out of a different out of caterpillars oh i'm trying to pull that apart and it's got things on it uh this girl turned out really cool i just love the shape of her and then i um i put brads in here and because this is a two-sided page you can do that um oh she's gonna have these as balloons so that's why that's there this is audrey hepburn dress uh, she turned out cute. I think she needs something. This was where I was using the Diane Reevely collages and then my own stuff. Oh, this is using the, um, the, uh, oh, what does he call them? Tim Holtz has these, the little people. And then this is a tag that's up there. I don't know why it's so stuck out. It goes, it's supposed to go in somewhere. 
goes all the way in somewhere. But this is Aces and Eights, the dead man's hand. I thought that was really cool. All right, and this is, this is what everybody thinks the country, this is what I think everybody thinks the country looked like. And then this is what everybody who pictures the country, pure magic. Um, I thought this one turned out really cute. I was surprised. I like her world eyeball. These guys are a mix of the paper dolls from Tim Holtz and Diane Reeve Lee's Dilution Heads. I thought that was a fun one. I like these girls. I like this one. Billy Jensen said slobber knocker. He has a um, true crime podcast. And then this one turned out good. And then this, these are the fashion girls. So those are cute. All right, last one. This is the Dilutions Classic. Oh, and I made this journal. This is just facing pages, and then I got these giant clips. And so I made this, uh, this journal. And then this is the last one. This is the Dilutions Classics journal. Um, it has, I like to think of it this way. It has black and tan, and then it has the craft pages. And this is an envelope. And so let's see, there's lots of pages I need to do on here. Okay, so this is a partial one. We have a little bit of her done and a cutout. These two girls are done. And this is using a white page and then a black page. So they go together, but they have different backgrounds. Just some backgrounds. These girls came out really good. That's Tyra Banks with weird eyes. I love her, um, hair that's just uh lipsticks these are cute oh this is this is fancy so i used collage sheets and watch they stay the same Boop. <laughs> and then this is like one of those old flip books where you can pick your pick your um you know story and then this is two guys that turned out pretty cute that's on the craft paper so I go back and forth. These are on the craft paper. And it's been fun trying to figure out how to use the different backgrounds. And this is where I started thinking, um, this is Amanda, she's a poet. Um, this is where I started thinking I would like to, to have just a pure black journal because I enjoyed the black pages in here. Oh, Chris Pine, he's sideways. This is my Dali that I made with the go-go boots. This is 1980s hair. This is 1980s hair. Um, bunch of pages that aren't done. This is one I just did. This is the polar bear with the cat sitting on her head. This one turned out cute. I wanted to paint this background. I didn't mention this in the video, but I wanted to paint this background so this wasn't just a plain uh, piece of, of cardstock. I thought this one turned out cool, and I love the quote in there, and I wrote, I'm always proud of myself when I write. And this one turned out cute. Sideways one. She's a cat in her hair. And I like this spread because this is kind of me, dark and broody. Something pulled up there. Um, but I like how this turned out with the, the different things in it. I like this squiggle. I'm going to have to do more uh, embossing cutouts. I'm looking for something to do today. Maybe I'll do that. Um, this one's okay. I don't love it. I kind of love this one for the alligator. Um, and that's it, I think. And then I have a bunch of pages that didn't get that. Oh, don't ever put micro glaze on craft. It just sucks it up. But you can put like, this is um, Seth after Pearly. So those are the current journals I have in progress. Hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life.